we have made it to trail six, the inner loop that we're gonna do uh, before making our journey back to the trailhead. And it's time for lunch. So I made sandwiches this week. Thank you, thank you. No problem, happy to do it. And what I made. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Look at that. Well, that's interesting. Don't know what that is. So what I made this week is on some thin sliced 21 oat and nut bread. Which looks really cool. Yeah, I, uh, I looked into the brand and everything. It's a brand of bread they make in Oregon and Jewel carries it and it's, it's something that I would eat. And with that, I put some organic peanut butter and peanut butter peanut butter yeah normal peanut butter we haven't had peanut butter in a long time <laughs> and in a, almost a year yeah and to pair with the peanut butter is some jam that i got on sale at jerry's fruit and vegetable market so that's what we got today it's what, what kind of jam uh it was a multi-fruit okay i don't know if we're eating the multi-fruit one and i also used up the rest of my peach so. I can't tell. Me either. <laughs> so, um, so interesting to go back to peanut butter. I can taste that. Yeah, I can taste the peanut butter. And it tastes like peanut butter, but the pizzazz isn't there. Well, you know what I did is I bought a, a jar of chocolate sunflower butter. That's what I sent you the picture of. Oh, that was chocolate? Yeah. It's a new one. It's a new product that brand just came out with. Sun Butter brand came out with. And so it's sunflower butter chocolate. And it's good for making like vegan cookies with and stuff like that. So I had it on bread. It tastes like Nutella. Yeah. It's super good, but it doesn't it would not pair well with jam. So Huh. I had to get something else to, to make sandwiches with. <clears throat> I figured I'd go spend less money on the peanut butter rather than more money on the sunflower butter. And I spent like seven dollars on the loaf of bread I got. <laughs> this is a very six fifty, a very expensive loaf of bread. Well, I appreciate it and thank you for making up, helping out this week and doing it. Yeah, felt good making them. And I'm glad you went very special on what you uh, what you did. I would not have been as satisfied with just basically store brought bought wheat bread. I really like the change to go with the 21 grain. Oh, good. Okay, I hear you. And it's good. Like this is yeah, this is some good bread. Now this hike is turning out to be the tale of three different hikes. In my opinion, hear me out, hiking skiing pathway. Where's the snowshoer? Um, so uh, the book has the paths mostly in the, the woods here, the nature preserve area and this is a very similar hike in this part of the terrain as many of the other hikes. You got birding, you can hear the birds in the distance. Lots of vegetation. So I'd say this is the first hike concept. The dunes would be a second hike concept where we're running up and down the dunes and just having a great old dune day. Uh -huh. 100% the better shape you're in, the more enjoyment you're going to get out of those dunes. Yeah, that's so true. Uh, they are hard and heavy. So, and the third would be the lake experience, which we haven't experienced yet. But, you know, you could certainly just come here and sit on the beach and go swimming. And that would be a day. That would be worth it. That's what most people are doing. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, taking a break to run up a dune. 
we're really going through the dunes. We went off trail the last <laughs> two videos or so. There was a video a couple of videos ago where we said, hey, we're, we were on filming, we were in the forest, and all of a sudden we came to what we saw was a clearing, and we went up a bluff. Well, that got us off trail. And if we'd gone, I don't know, 50 more feet, we would have found a trail marker, which got us back into trail here. So everything we did was off trail and it was all dune experience. I loved it and I'm sure you did too. We really had a good time running around the dunes. I'm bringing the tale of three hikes up because if you do the book hike as we're experiencing right now, you can get away with basic shoes, basic water and food. You're protected from the sun. Well, we've got a gallon of water we're going through. Right, so if you're out in the dunes, like we're doing a liter an hour easy a piece. Yeah. And you gotta be prepared for that. Cause there is no, there's no shade. Obviously we're coming back in here. There, I mean, there can be shade if you walk to it, but it's a lot of effort and energy to, I'm saying. to go up and down those dunes. Yeah. It's well worth it, but that's hard stuff. Now we're dying of hunger. All right, we're at the inner loop. We're almost at the end of it, so we've talked our way through it. Some people just sort of emerged out of nowhere. People did? Yeah, just people Where? behind us. They literally came from off of the path. Oh, okay. I think they were lost or something. All right. Well, tune in tomorrow.